Welcome back guys. In today's video, I will be showing you some basic breakfalls that I use in host insoles for throws and takedowns. It is very important that you know how to fall correctly to prevent injuries. In this video, I will be showing you some basic level breakfalls to some intermediate levels. Okay, let's begin. Okay guys, so I have uh, Daniel and Sasha uh, will be helping me today with the breakfalls. So we want to start on your knees as close to the floor as you can and we're going to do breakfalls to the front. Ready? And go. So on your knees you fall forward and again. Good. So if you notice that their palm and their forearm hits the floor at the same time. As soon as the palm and forearm hit the floor, they turn their head to the side. Good, so just in case the arm doesn't break, so it doesn't protect you, then you face, you don't slam your face into the floor and you're able to turn your head so you don't get poked in the eyes, you break your nose, your teeth, whatever. Two more, go. That's it, and one more. Good. So when you get better at this, what you want to do is uh, stand up and you want to move your legs apart. And what this does, it brings your body closer to the floor and you go as far as you need to and you fall to the front and break your fall. Go. Good. Same. So you're hitting this, uh, your forearm, the palm, legs apart and again. Good. So as you get better at this, you move your feet a little closer and you do the same break falls. Good. So now when you get really good at this, you want to bring your feet together and now you're real at the highest point. Your arms, if you notice your arms are at your side, by now you should know where to put your arms when you're falling. So, as soon as you start to fall, that's when you prepare your, your arms to break the fall. Good, so the arm starts at the side. And you lift, and when you're falling, and down, go. Good. And go. Good, so this will be the front break fall. So you want to start with from, the, from your knees, then you move standing up with your legs wide apart, and then you bring your legs closer and closer until you can drop all the way from the top. You can do some other things. Maybe you want to jump a little bit if you want, and go, just do one. Good. Good. Okay, so you can play around and add some fun stuff if you want. Okay, so from there, we go from the front break fall to the side break falls. So what you want to do when you're doing the side break falls, we're going to go to the right side. You want to bend your left knee. So your left knee is going to bring your body low to the floor. Go ahead and slowly Good, and down. So you use, if you fall into the right side, bend your left knee, extend the right leg, slightly touch the floor, and break fall. Good. So if you notice your other arm is always hitting the floor, just to spread the force out. Okay, one more on this side. Good, and you can go at a regular speed, two at a regular speed. Ready, go. Good, and one more. Good, and we'll switch sides. Go. Okay, so that's the side break falls to the side. Okay, now we're gonna do the next break fall that is very important is break falls to the back. It's very important that when you're falling to the back, 
you always protect your head. You do not want your head to slam into the floor. So what you do is you take your chin and you tuck it into your chest, okay? So what you guys want to do is start on the floor to show a very simple, simple sit on the floor. So from here, they're sitting on the floor and they start with the break falls by uh, crossing your hands across your chest. Tuck the ch your chin into your chest, roll back and hit the floor at the same time. Good. You do not want your arms too wide, like in line with your shoulders. They should be at your side and go. Good, so this is a, the best way to start. One more. Good. Now, once you get a little more advanced, you want to do maybe a low squat. And you do the same, break falls. You to the back. Good, so you're getting a little, a little more advanced by going a little higher, sit back. Break falls, good. And once you get even better, you want to stand up and you want to break your fall from standing up. So it's very similar uh, to the others. You use your knees to lower your body to the floor and go. And you stand up to the front and we just show you, you fold the leg and you stand up, good. So when you're standing up, you should always try a good technique to stand up. Okay, again, break your fall. Good, and you can also do uh, a different uh, different ways of standing up to show us some different ways you can put your hands to the side and both to the side and stand up one more side back and stand up okay now um, yeah so there's a lot of different ways to stand up maybe Daniel you want to show us uh, so spring up from your back and go so you want one Good, and you stand up. So these exercises, those things that you have to practice, um, and you can get better at, at it. But if you can't do this, bring up, you just stand up like they did before. One more, stand up to the side, one. So one, both arms to the side, pull the knee back, and then up you go. Good. Now, we're gonna do a um, break your fall to the back, and do a back roll, and then roll forward, go. And up and yeah so just a good agility moving back up some more all the way back back up back up okay and we'll do it again and this time you'll break your fall uh, on the roll forward go good and you can do it straight or you can do it on the sides to do whichever you want go Good. One more. Any side. Anyhow. Go. So after the roll, you just stay down, slap the side, and up. Okay, so I believe we've covered all the basic break balls to the front, to the side, and to the back. Okay guys, so those are some basic break falls that I teach to all my students starting at white belt, okay? It's very important that you practice a lot because when you're falling, you don't have time to, to think. You have to rely on natural instinct and you reflexed, okay? So a lot of practice will be able to help you with that. Um, remember, when you're falling, if you stick your arms out, uh, your arm will not be able to hold your body weight, so most likely, uh, something is going to give your one of your joints, your elbows, your uh, wrist, or your shoulders, okay? This is why we extend the arm to distribute the force over many areas of, uh, of the body to um, help us to not break our joints, okay? Um, remember, guys, in six months, you can have six months of excuses or six months of progress. The choice is yours. So get up, get started, and work hard, and try your best. 
Until next time, stay safe.